Hello and welcome to Matters of the Heart radio show with me, your host, Wendy Torres. I am so delighted that you've decided to stop by and visit with me for this next half hour as we have the opportunity to spend some time together in fellowship. Um, I'm here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and I'm glad that you've joined me wherever you are. I have taken some time to reflect and think today about the show and, and the content and the nature of it. And the show today is really coming from the depth of my heart as I've personally been through some difficult struggles in the past week or so. And, and as I'm coming out of them to a certain degree, I realize and I value that some of my ability to come out of it is because of the people who prayed for me. Prayer is so vital and so important and so powerful in our lives. And I know that it's the power of prayer and agreement from my friends um, and my listeners that helps me to do what God has called me to do. And as I've sat here and thought about the show, I really believe that the Lord's desire is for us to pray together. That means me and you, whoever you are and wherever you are. Um, for you and for those that you know and those that you love. I know whenever I'm going through something in life, it can be a breath of fresh air when someone comes in with another measure of faith to add to mine and to help me come before God and to lay my burdens down at his feet. It's the desire of God that we lay our burdens down at his feet. And so today, that's really what the show is going to be about. Um, today, my special guest is you. Um, and my special guest is the Lord and the Holy Spirit and the Father in heaven. And all of us together, that makes five of us. You know, the word says that wherever two or three are gathered in his name, that the God is there in their midst. And right here, right now, I know that you and I are at least two, but the Holy Spirit makes three, and Jesus and the Father, that makes four and five, and so we are in great company. I've thought about how I can do this, and I'm just going to go with my first thoughts. I believe that they are divinely instructed of the Lord, so I'm going to ask you, would you, if possible, silence the distractions around you and focus with me as I go before God in, in his throne room. And if this is you and a prayer that I'm lifting up for you as I talk about finances and divorce and anxiety and depression and court hearings and marriages, if you need prayer in any of those areas, stay right here. Do not change that channel because I am here to help intercede on your behalf right now and together our faith can move mountains i believe that all right so now that we're quiet and we're on the same page let's pray let's go to god the lord the word of god says that we can come boldly before his throne of grace in times of need to obtain mercy god is full of mercy and he loves to give his children good gifts if you are a believer and jesus christ is your savior and god is your father i want you to know right now he delights in giving you his child good gifts and those gifts can look all kinds of ways they can look like peace they can look like um blessings of, of finance, blessings of healing and relationships. It can come in a lot of different ways, but I believe that God wants you to know that he delights in giving you his child, his beloved child, good gifts, and he loves it when you come into his presence and you trust him. You turn your eyes towards him and you rest and you believe in who he is. So let's pray. Come on. If you have the ability, get on your knees. That's exactly what I'm going to do here in the studio, believe it or not. And we're going to intercede together and get before God's throne and call out for those that are listening besides ourselves. And together, we will change and help bring forth miracles, I believe, because our faith is joined together. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we come into your presence seeking to bless you father god because we long to be in your presence god to bless your name and to declare that you are holy and righteous and good and there is none like you you are our god and in you 
We have confidence and we have hope that you are our deliverer, that you are a very present help in times of trouble, O oh God, that you look after your children and you care about us and the things that concern us. And Lord God, that your ear right now is bent low to hear the cry of our heart, O oh God. Father, I, I pray, Father God, on behalf of people wherever they are, that are anxious right now. Father God, I pray that in the name of Jesus, you would release from heaven your peace. The peace that passes all understanding, oh God, how they need you. Oh Lord, how, how they need you right now, Father God, to calm the, the winds and the waves and the storms of their life, oh God. Father God, I pray that you would speak peace to their heart and to their mind and to their soul to their circumstances in the name of Jesus, peace. Father God, I ask that you would order their steps in what they are worried about. Order their steps, Father God. Your word says that the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. Order their steps. Help us to remain confident, O oh God, that you are sovereign and that you love us and that you will direct our path. As we're seeking you, Father God, and as we're not leaning on our understanding, lead us, O oh God. Remove all of the anxious ways in us, Father God, and cleanse us, Father God, from all unrighteousness. Forgive our sins, O oh God. Forgive the sins of our nation and where we have turned, O oh God. Heal our land, O oh God. Forgive us, O oh God, when we've turned and not followed according and lived according to your word and your will, O oh God. Forgive us. Father God, for those that are heavy in their heart, O oh God, and who feel like there is no hope in the name of Jesus, O oh God, I ask that you would dispense to them and pour out upon them hope, O oh God that they would hope in you again, that you would send words of encouragement, people into their path to encourage them, God, to love them, Father God, to help them, Lord God, to take them by the hand, Father God, and walk with them through whatever deep, dark valley they may be in. I pray they will not find themselves alone. And Lord God, if they see themselves alone physically, that you would remind them, oh God, that you are with them spiritually right there, Father God. Make your presence known to us now, O oh God, wherever we are, Lord. How we need you, how your children long, how we long for you, O oh God, to deliver us, Lord God, from evil. Because yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever, Lord. I pray that those heavy in heart, Father God, would be set free now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray for those who are... Um, who are going through loss, the loss of a loved one, O oh God. Father, your word says, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the passing of his saints. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to borrow beautiful people in this lifetime. Thank you for the good memories that we can cherish with them, O oh God. But Father, how I pray that you would bring your spirit of comfort upon us, Lord God. Those that are hurting and grieving the loss of relationships, the loss of loved ones, O oh God. You would bring your healing balm, O oh God, and remind us, Lord God, that we are not alone, that we have you. Lord God, I pray that you would go deep into the heart into the hurting places, O oh God, and alleviate the pain, O oh God, alleviate the pain. Let let these let these friends, Lord God, sleep and to sleep soundly in the name of Jesus. Let them, O oh God, operate, Lord God, in what you say is true, Lord God, not in a spirit of fear, Lord God, not in fear of what might happen, Lord God, or what may not happen, Father God. But Lord, what because your word says you have not given them a spirit of fear, but one of power and love and a sound mind, Lord God. Help them, Lord God, to operate in that, Lord. Fill them with your love, Lord God. Send them those reminders of your love, oh God. For anyone just tuning in right now and you're wondering what is happening, why is this lady praying? I want to come alongside you and I want to pray with you in whatever you may be going through. In case you may not have anyone to pray with you right now, God knew that. And he sent me right now. Bow your head with me. Bow your knees. Bend your knees. 
Father, for the marriages that are hurting, for the husbands and wives that are confused and dismayed, O oh God. Show yourself mighty on their behalf, O oh God. Father God, I pray there would be forgiveness in marriages, Lord, that there would be humility, O oh God, that the burdens of the past, Father God, would be released from their shoulders now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray that you would help them, Lord God, when they have problems, to attack the problems and not each other, Lord God. I pray, Lord, against the tearing down of each other and the tearing down of the family. And Father God, that you would build them up and give them fresh hope, Lord God, that you are the God of the impossible. Father God, breathe new life and new fire and new energy, Lord God, for the husband and the wife to invest in each other, for them to repent of their pride and their selfish ways, O oh God, and to come back before you and to cherish, to cherish and to see the good of their spouses, Lord. Lord God, I pray that, Lord, those that are in sin and marriage, Father God, would repent. And Lord God, that you would receive them and cleanse them and forgive them and help them to make right their wrongs, O oh God. I pray for your mercy, Lord God, to come out like a flood on their homes, O oh God. And it would extend to their children, Lord. I pray that children will not needlessly have to suffer or hurt, Lord God, because of the decisions in marriages. But Father, how I ask that you would intervene now in the name of Jesus and that you would remove, Lord God, the obstacles, and you would remove a spirit of division and strife and confusion from the marriages and those that are married now in Jesus' name. Father God, I pray for those that are sick in body. Father God, for those that are hurting with disease, with cancer, Father God, with any kind of mental illness, Lord God, with aches and pains, Lord. Oh, Father, how I ask that the blood of the Lamb would cover them. Father, you're set, you say that it's by the stripes of Jesus that we are healed, and I apply that truth to their body, to their soul, to their mind now, to their bones, to the marrow in the name of Jesus. Father God, may their praises be high. Give them a new song in their heart, O oh God, a new song, Father God, of deliverance. I thank you, Lord God, that you send forth your word and you heal your children. Father God, I pray that healing would happen now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I ask for good test results. I ask that cancer, Lord God, would be cursed and banished from your children in the name of Jesus. Father God, I ask that you would loose your healing power from your throne room, O oh God, and that you would begin to turn those negative test results into positive test results, O oh God. That you would turn the doubt into faith in the name of Jesus. And Father God, that you would restore those things, restore the loss, restore, Father God, uh, the weak knees, Lord God, restore, Father God, the good health of a sound mind. Now, I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for those that are, that are in need of, of money. Lord God, you know and you put us here for a reason and you've given us a system that we operate from and we need currency God we need the financial ability to take care of the things that you've entrusted us with so father in the name of Jesus Lord God I stand on your truth that you are Jehovah Jireh our provider and Lord that you will provide according to your riches Lord God I believe that so Lord I ask that you would send forth everything that that your children need to take care of themselves and to fulfill and do what you've called them to do in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we ask that you would you would Lord God especially bless those that are faithful in tithing and giving, Lord God, because we believe that your word is true that you will open up the doors and the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that they can hardly contain it. God, I pray that they can sleep tonight. They're not worried, Lord God, because we believe that you will provide and you will show up right on time. Give them the creative ideas on how they can make that money, Father God, and then help them to um, be good stewards of what you have entrusted them with, Father God. I pray that the impossible would be made possible now for your children, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, I pray... Lord God, for anyone who has a, a court hearing, Lord God, it's your desire 
that mercy triumph over justice. But Lord God, we know that you are a just God. And Lord, we ask that you would intervene on the behalf of everyone listening that has any kind of legal situation going on, Father God, that you would be their advocate, O oh God, that you would fight for them, O oh God. Lord God, that you would sustain them, that you would provide all that they need every moment that they need it in the courtroom, out of the courtroom, with the attorneys, with the judge. I pray that the judges, Lord God, would rule in righteousness and truth, and you would grant them discernment and wisdom, Lord God, to know your will. And Father God, that you would have mercy on your children, oh God. Father, I pray for anyone going through a divorce and who is brokenhearted. Oh Father, I know that your word says that you are near to the brokenhearted. And when we're brokenhearted, sometimes it feels like we're all alone. But God, I pray that you would send forth companionship, companionship of your Holy Spirit and of your, of your angels, oh God. Father God, I pray for, for people to come into the hearts and the lives of those that are going through divorce to encourage them in you to draw closer. Help them to forgive, Father. Help them to heal. Help them to mend. Put them on a solid, firm, clear path, Lord God. Grant them the courage for today. Lord God, I pray that if there is any way, God, and if it is your will, that there would be restoration in the marriage. And if the divorce is already done, God, that you would still bring resurrection if that's your will. And if not, God, that you would give my friend peace. Peace in you, that you know what's best. And that you are always working and always going to make things work out for their good. Because they love you. Because they're called according to your purpose, Father. Father God, I pray that the women, Lord God, who can hear me in this nation and around the world would take heart and would prepare, Father God, a special place in their heart and their life for you. And that they would make you number one in their life. That their knees would be bowed towards you. That their hearts would be open to you. That their ears would be open to you, God. That they can hear your instruction and your wisdom, Lord God. That they would stay the course. That they would fight the good fight of faith, Father God. That you would renew them, Lord God. That you would bless their going out and their coming in, O oh God. When they sit and when they rise, O oh God that you would open up doors of impossibility for them as they step out in your will, O oh God. And Lord God, that you would pour out your favor upon them, Lord. And upon their, their call, Lord God, their destiny, Lord, the, their, their careers, Lord God, pour out your favor upon them in that area, Lord God. Help them to minister truth, Father God, to be strong in your word. Help them to hide the, your word in their heart that they might not sin against you and to instruct their children and to instruct those that they have influence over with love, O oh God that they would be good, diligent servants of yours, Father God, that they would be mighty warriors of yours, Lord God, in these end times. Lord God, that the spirit of fear would not conquer them, O oh God, but um, Lord God, they would operate in, in a sound mind and in courage, knowing that you're with them wherever they are, God. Hear their praises and hear their prayers, O oh God, and move mightily on their behalf according to your will. I pray for the men, Lord God, for every man that's hearing, Lord God, that needs you, that humbly bows himself before you, Father God, Lord, I pray that you would raise him up, Lord God, and you would appoint his steps and order him, that you would impart to him godly wisdom and truth. And Father God, that they would be unmovable in your things and the things of your kingdom, Father God, that they would be bold and courageous in leading families and leading businesses in leading countries, oh God, that you would establish them and that they would choose to establish their words, their principles, everything that you've charged them with on your word, Lord God, and that you would bless their obedience as they obey you, Father God. 
Lord God, I pray that you would pour out your favor upon them, Lord God, and that you would fight for them. And you would, um, Father God, share with them what burdens your heart and that you would find them faithful to carry, Lord God, to carry the things that matter to you on their heart and to um, be diligent in serving you, God. I pray that you would bless the work of their hands, Lord God. I pray that you would bless your sons and the work of their hands. I pray it would prosper and be blessed. Father God, I pray that all of your children, Lord God, all of your children, Lord God, would have rest tonight. And Lord God, that you would satisfy them with good things, Father God. Lord God, I pray that... Um, I pray, Lord God, that all of your children will be like a tree, a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, and that their leaves also shall not wither, and whatever they do will prosper. I pray that you would anoint them, Father God, to preach the gospel of the good news of Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ saves, and you would put a burden in our hearts, Lord God, to reach out, Lord God, to those that are lost. Give us compassion for the hurting, God. Give us compassion for the things that are moving you, Lord God. Make us aware of how you need us and help us to move forth in those things, Father God, and to be faithful, Lord. Father, wash us with your word. Cleanse us with the blood of the lamb. Renew our spirits and renew our strength as we wait on you. Lord God, Father, I pray that our children, God, would raise up underneath us, Father God, and that they would take on the armor that you've provided, Father God, and that they too can fight the good fight of faith. I pray that you would protect them in their schools, Lord God, that you would place about them a hedge of protection that keeps them safe at all times, and that nothing would come in the way of their destiny and all of the good that you desire for them, Lord. Lord, I pray for the president of this country that you would, Lord God, put your hand upon him and that you would instruct him and that you would bless him. Pray there would be peace in this land and Lord God, that everyone around the world would find delight in being in your presence for it is so renewing. Lord, we love you today. I ask that all of these things happen according to your will right here on earth, right now, as it is in heaven. For unto you, Lord God, unto you is all honor and glory and praise. Unto you, O oh God, is the service of your servants. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Well, friends, I hope that you are renewed as we spent time in prayer, in prayer for each other, in prayer for everyone who's listening around the world. God has heard us, and he, he is delighted when we stop and we say, we need you, Lord. We love you, God. I hope that you're stronger today at this moment now than you were before you listened to the show. Thank you for tuning in to Matters of the Heart. It's been my privilege to pray with you tonight and to get to be that partner in prayer with you. Be strong in the Lord and be of good courage. Again, remember, be strong in the Lord and be of good courage. Faint not because your deliverance is on its way. Please remember to go to my website and let me know that you're listening. Let me know what matters are on your heart. You can visit me on the web at Matters of the Heart. Dot o -R -G. That's mattersoftheheart.org. And you can um, also support me there financially in prayer. You can connect me with, with, with me there, and I would be so thankful for that. Please like my page on Facebook as well. I want to know where you are all listening from. You can find me on Facebook at Matters of the Heart Radio Show. Again, that's Matters of the Heart Radio Show. Know that I am looking forward to hearing from you because the things that matter to you matter to God. And if it matters to you and it matters to God, it matters to me. And I want to be a voice here for you. So let me know what's on your heart so that I can address it. I hope you've been blessed. I've enjoyed your company.